Hello friends, welcome to Edrop Sport. In today's video, we are going to be interacting with Pharaoh's Testnet Season 2. So we want to get started by using the Zenith Swap faucet to claim test USDC. Before you can use their faucet, you need to first follow Zenith Swap on X and that is what I have done. And then I am going to quickly check the capture and once I've done that, I can claim the USDC. You can only use the faucet once a day. Now, if you want more Pharaoh's token itself, which is the native token, you click on that Want More Pharaoh's and it takes you to Pharaoh's Testnet website. So once you get here, just click on that tab icon beside Pharaoh's and it takes you to the Pharaoh's faucet. Paste your EVM address, check the capture and then claim. I can't claim because I already claimed before I started recording this video. Now, if you click on need more tokens, it takes you back to Zenith faucet where you can claim either USDC or USDC, but you can use either faucet only once a day. Now, we are going to scroll to the bottom and we are going to start interacting one after another. The first interaction to do is to swap on Zenith. So, I'll, I am going to be swapping between USDC and Pharaohs. So I'll be swapping 50 USDC for Pharaoh, so I'll click on swap and then confirm the interaction in my wallet. Okay, now, so the swap is successful. I'll go to the bottom tab and then tap on pool to add to liquidity pool. I'll click on new pool and then choose the pair that I want to add. Since I have funds on Ferus and USDC, that will be my pay and I'll be choosing 0.30% PTA and I'm going to enter the amount of USDC and Ferus that I want to add. But the problem is that at the point of making this video, this site is probably under maintenance or having some bug because you can't add uh, liquidity at all. If you click on approve USDC or whichever token you want to add, it is not clickable at all. So I have to go back and then we are going to be interacting with Ferus Swap. I'm going to click on Swap. Although there is a similar issue on Ferus Swap, but for Ferus Swap, it is their swap feature that is not working, even though I have used severally in the past before today. So I let's just try it out. I'll be swapping 50 USDC or more than that for Pharaohs and then you can see code not available these are my transaction history for the several days that I have been testing the site but today it is currently unavailable so I'm going to click on the sidebar menu and then we are going to click on pool their liquidity pool tab is actually working so I'm going to choose the USDC and USDT pair and I enter the amount of token that I want to add So I just approved the spending of USDT. Since I have been interacting with the site before, I already approved USDC before. So I'll be adding both pairs to the liquidity pool. And it has been successfully added. You can see my position at the top. So I am back on Ferrous Network. On Zenith Swap, I can swap. I can't add liquidity. On Ferro Swap, I can't swap, but I can add liquidity. So I'm going to move on to the next task, which is to send uh, Ferros to another wallet address. So I'll be entering the amount of Ferros that I want to send. And then I'm going to be pasting the receiver's address. And then I'll tap on Send Ferros. Just a simple task like that. I'll confirm the interaction in my wallet. Transaction successful. I'll move on to the next one, which is to send Ferros to somebody's social media account. I really do not understand how that works, but here is how to use it. So connect your EVM wallet, choose the amount of tokens, and then enter the username of the person, of the person's X account that you want to send to. So I used uh, an account that I have an access to. I am confirming the transaction in my wallet. However, if I go to my X, I do not see anywhere or any kind of notification that I have received a token. So I do not know how that works at the moment. But then we have interacted with the site. So we are back on Ferros. The next one is to copy your invite link and then send to friends. And then the next one is to use the identity service and then buy a domain. 
However, when you get to this site, it may be displaying in Mandarin. That is no problem at all. Just go to the sidebar menu of your browser and then click on translate. Whenever you are browsing any site that is not displaying in English language, you can always translate it to English. So look for a username that you would like to buy. I already bought a domain name on this site. You can see airdropspot.first. That is mine. So I'll just be choosing a sample uh, username, even though I won't be completing the transaction here. So this one is available. If you click on it, you are going to see the next set of options to choose from. And that includes uh, choosing duration that you would like to hold the username for. And then once you've done that, scroll to the bottom and then choose whether uh, you want that username to be the primary uh, name of your wallet address. So you can uh, either turn the toggle switch on or off. Then if you click on next step, you are going to complete your transaction in your wallet. Since I am not willing to buy, I'll just go back to Pharos because I already purchased a domain name before. Now we are going to be interacting with uh, Aquaflux. Connect your EVM wallet. Now click on let's dive in. They have two options, US Treasury or Growth Corporate Bond. I will be going for US Treasury in this video. Confirm request in wallet. Now, the US Treasury have been split in two. We have principal token, which is stable, and then coupon token, which gives you yield on your investment. Now, click on activate shield to protect your investment from volatility. Next, click on craft my first combo. Then click on craft strategy. And then click on confirm and craft. Confirm in your wallet. So you've already, uh, you successfully crafted your strategy. And now we want to mint our Aquaflux Pioneer NFT for interacting with their site. To know if you are eligible to mint, just uh, click on confirm token balance. And if you want to be able to mint their premium NFT, turn the toggle switch on and then follow them on X. Verify your following and then click on claim NFT. Confirm transaction in wallet. We have successfully interacted with Aquaflux and we have minted their premium NFT, which may bring potential reward later in the future. So now we are going to move to the next one, which is AI staking on Pharaoh's testnet. So on this site, the AI does the staking for you. You can choose I am new or you choose I have experience but I am choosing I am new. For the risk profile, I chose balanced but you can go for conservative. Now before we get started, tap on that uh, faucet icon at the top and then claim your mock USDT which we are going to be using as well to stake. Now since this is an AI staking site, you are going to tap on that AI button so that you can let AI do all of the job for you. I had to switch to desktop mode so that I can see everything in one screen. Now, the only problem I have with this site, or maybe because it is the fact that I choose a balanced risk profile, is the fact that I cannot manually adjust the amount of tokens I want to stake with. You simply tap on apply and then the AI is going to do everything. Uh, I have three tokens in my wallet, that is USDC, USDT, and then mock USDT. And then one by one, you are going to be getting... Uh, approval prompt in your wallet to approve the spending of each token and that is what is happening right here since i have a total number of three tokens in my wallet aside pharaohs i got three approval prompts for each of them for all three rather so this is the approval prompt for the third one which is more qsdt and that's it. It is the AI that is doing everything. There is really no place for me to make any adjustment. And now that it is completed, you can see completed. So the AI staked all of the tokens that I have. Over 1,000 USDC, 28 USDT, and also 500 more USDT. And that is one thing that I really do not like. So you can try out conservative instead of balanced like mine. 
and then see maybe you'll be able to make adjustment and choose the right amount of tokens you would prefer to stake i would have tried it out in this video but all of my tokens are gone so i have to wait for till the next day so that i can claim test usdc and then come back to stake so that is how to interact with this ai staking website we'll go back to Ferros network so we are done with the staking task we'll move on to the next one which is the bitcoin bridge and in this task we are going to be interacting with both our Ferros testnet and also firma testnet we have joined firma in their alpha testnet phase and also their beta is currently ongoing and uh, in the past couple of days i wrote a short twitter thread on the latest update on firma testnet i am going to put the link in the comment section so when you want to connect your wallet ensure you connect your okx wallet because okx has multi-network so you are going to be using both your evm wallet and your bitcoin wallet on okx now if you do not have any uh testnet bitcoin balance in your wallet before i am going to be providing the link to the faucet in the comment section as well so we are going to be bridging from signet btc over to huleski and then i am going to enter my evm address as in into the box on the whole key that is where i want to receive the funds that i am bridging over from signet btc and then i will enter amount the minimum amount to bridge is 0 0.001 so i have to go back and then make adjustment to the amount that i have entered before so i am bridging 0 0.001 signet btc over to whole key and then I, I am going to click on deposit and then confirm the transaction in my wallet. I'll click on deposit. Click on confirm and then go back into your OKX wallet. There is going to be like a second prompt for you to complete the transaction. And then click on confirm again. Now it is going to take up to 30 minutes or even more before this transaction right here is going to be completed. It usually takes more time, a uh, longer time like that. You can see that. So I'm going to just leave this page and go back to Ferro's network. But that is how to use the Fair Matters Net Bridge. And then next we have CFD trading, although I will not be interacting with this in this video because it requires the use of PC and I was not near my PC at the point of recording this video, so I have to skip the task. And then let's go to collect NFTs. I think most of us are actually used to this one because we have been minting NFTs before on Ferro's testnet before this video at all. So we have one that is currently ongoing and that is the Zentra test net badge. Simply click on mint and it takes one pharaohs. That is the cost of minting this NFT. So you need to have enough pharaohs in your wallet to be able to mint this. I do not have enough pharaohs in my wallet so I won't be able to mint this at this very moment. That, but that is basically all the on-chain tasks that are available on pharaohs uh, test net at the moment. The last one that I am yet to verify is joining their Discord server and I will do that right now. So you want to ensure that each of the dApp that is on Ferro's network, you interact with them for 91 times, meaning you interact with ZenitSwap for 91 times and then you interact with VeroSwap for 91 times as well. Doing that is going to help you to quickly unlock higher uh, levels on the Ferro's network leaderboard. So that is all about Ferro's testnet at the moment. So if you have any questions about this testnet or any comment, drop me a comment in the comment section. And if you found value in one way or another in this video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. All of the links that you need that I used in this video, they will be in the comment section, pinned in the comment section for your convenience. Thank you for watching and I will see you in another tutorial.